today's video is on these two lasers this one which was advertised at 100 milliwatts and this one which was advertised at 400 milliwatts uh, this one I actually reckon is around 10 or less milliwatts and this one I reckon 50 to 100 see I don't have a laser power meter to test these on but uh, rough judgment is always a uh, an option. <laughs> so basically this one here was, uh, was actually like 14 euro or something on eBay or not eBay sorry laser pointer pro this one here oh sorry well I bought two of these here's my other one two of them here I bought two of these for 19 euro on Laser Pointer Pro. So believe it or not, this one is actually cheaper, and it's much better. But anyway, that's not the point. Basically, to open up this, you just screw off the cap here to put the batteries in. I'm saying, and um, put the batteries in like so. Negative end first for. Some weird reason. That's the way lasers are for some reason. And uh, the batteries are quite tight fit there, two AAA batteries. And then you just screw it on like so. There you go. And works just like that. And this one here, this one actually, you just screw off the back like so again. Like so. And this requires one 18650 battery, 18650. Or what I'm using at the moment because I can't get hold of any 18650 batteries. I'm using two of these which also work. And yeah, I think this is actually meant to be at 9 volts, but uh, two of these together are 6 volts, but it works. Like, I'm, I'm not too sure, you probably don't get the maximum power output of it. But um, negative end first again, just insert them in like that. And they're a bit loose, but look, at least it works. As you can see, this one has like a little clicky button at the back. As you can see, that's really bright there. Compare the two of these together. So, as you can see, there's quite a big difference there. And um, now we'll go to somewhere, in a, some dark place outside where you can uh, test the range and how bright uh, these lasers are. So in here is a really dark place across the GA pitch or a football pitch and I'm not going to stay here long because it's a shit place to be at half night at night. And, uh, here I'll try the one that was advertised at 100 below at first. Pretty good, but you know, it doesn't look as good on camera. You know, it easily gets across the other side there. Oh, it mightn't be that visible. On camera. And now I'll try the uh, one that was advertised at 400 milliwatt. Shit. Oh, that's bright. That is fucking cool right there. <laughs> that 
that is that church there is like about a half a kilometer away and it easily shines on the steeple of that church and gets across the GA pitch which is about one and a half times the size of a football pitch for people in other countries fucking hell up in the sand there and all that is extremely bright it's much brighter in real life obviously you know I'll try it then this way Looks extremely well. See, there's a green road sign down, or there's a stop sign. There's still a red stop sign down there. And when I shine it on it, it's fucking really bright. I better stop that because it's the main road. But anyway, as you can see, there's a massive difference there. There's a fucking car, so I look really awkward now, holding the camera. But, uh... Uh, but, basically... That's the difference between a laser that's about 10 milliwatts and one that's about, you know, 80 milliwatts we'll say. Well, 50 to 100, but I'd say around 80.